What's up, Boss Gang? It's your girl, Faith, a.k.a. Boss Lady Faith, a.k.a. Miss Positivity, you know what I'm saying? And I'm back again with another video. to my youtube channel hi welcome to bossy me and welcome to the bossy team we're all about encouraging and inspiring others to be the best that they can truly be if you're returning hi bossy gang it's good to see you guys i'm gonna tell y'all this quick little thing and then we're moving on to what i gotta tell y'all you guys know that i was gone for five days i was going through courses classes training for you guys me just becoming a better content creator for you guys and it was 100 percent towards y'all like i mean literally eat sleep whatever drink whatever everything was towards y'all like i'm working doing classes in class and i'm eating and doing all of that stuff while doing that like i was really focused in on making sure that i maximized the time that i had with my mentors like 100 percent. there was some you know professional criticism that was given and stuff and i was just like whoa you know it was a little, little little bite bite but you know to be the greatest to be a boss you gotta go through a couple of l's you gotta go through a couple of things and stuff like that and i don't mean i went through some l's y'all it was just a learning curve it's all about how you look at it okay okay so um my mentors had legitimate points towards you know what i was doing and stuff so i was okay with it i was perfectly fine with it um i would say moving forward i have definitely just became more aware of just certain things and it actually feels good it's very great I love the way that my brain is expanding. But yeah, let's move on to why we are here. I just wanted y'all to let y'all know why I was gone for a couple days. I had a memory that I remembered <laughs> because I, I so forgot that it even happened. So those that know, those that don't know, my father passed away in 2020 of March, okay? Um, during the pandemic, it was a lot that was going on. So on top of me dealing with grief, I was played by certain family members that said they was gonna do what they was gonna do with funds. They didn't come through. I was a babysitter at the time. On top of that, I had my own, you know, mental problems, issues with just grieving and stuff. And um, family members just started to flip, like switch, like really used to just show their colors after my father passed. And I was just like, Nigga, what has been at this whole entire time? Like, what, what, whatever, whatever, whatever. On top of that, I had became very suicidal. Like, I remember the day that I was going to commit suicide. And I had a whole plan for it, too. If y'all want to know about that or anything, I do have that down in my playlist. But you got to go far. It's in my 2020 playlist. But at that time, I had some wonderful, wonderful, amazing women that was around me. I did get a life coach she was amazing definitely 100 percent amazing she took me from a very fragile state that i didn't even realize that i was in um after i tried to commit suicide and helped me get to where i am today like ah! oh my gosh oh my gosh like i'm really having a reality moment but um I was explaining to one of my best friends that my training and teaching and learning with her um, had just inspired me to make some type of book, some type of motivational encouragement book for younger generations, you know, to let them know it's okay. You know, we all go through stuff, um, but it's about how you get off that wagon of stuff. You know what I'm saying? How you deal with it. And uh, I wanted to make a motivational book back then. And look at us now. What? Like, I'm just blown away. Like, 100%. This in my freaking hands. I manifested this by my words. I don't think some of y'all get how big that is. Like, that's just, I don't know. Like, for me, that's a really big thing. Like, I literally manifest that with my words and he made it happen under my nose like literally like what what 
what? If somebody would have told me all of the things that would have happened from 2020 all the way up until now to 2023, I would have been like, no way. No way. <laughs> but then when I think about the positives, it's like, no way. Like, uh, I'm just really grateful for what God is doing right about now. Um, I just know that he's going to take me higher and he's just going to keep leading me. I am going literally 100% off of faith. Like, literally. My whole entire projective of life I've been moving off of God and even with you know certain decisions I've made I'm like I don't know, I don't know. Ooh, ooh. he just like just trust in me just trust in me and it's like after now that I've gotten done with these courses and all of that stuff it's like I see why God said trust him I'm happy that I trusted him I'm so happy I, oh, so happy I trust him. I just know that he's setting up more doors to be open, more places to be just, ah, yeah. I was just so happy, you guys. If you guys, I'm sorry. I was just so excited and caught in the moment. I didn't even tell y'all. If y'all don't know what this is, this is my Black Girl Coloring Book. Information about it is in my description below. I'm sorry, y'all, if it seem wrinkly or the ring light is hitting it. This is my personal one. So, it is, baby, hey, we, we didn't got through this thing. So, uh. But thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you see I'm giving some type of value that you want to hear. Come on, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell button so then you'll be notified every single time I drop another heat up. Because why? Because why? Oh, we go in, we go in, we go in. All the way up. Mm, mm, all the way up. I love you, Bossy Gang, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. What's up? What's up?